reason I make uh, burden baskets is pronounced uh, gyeha. And the reason I do it is to bring back something that wasn't here in a long time. Uh, in the past, the uh, women used it to carry their items to market and also to gather wood. The process I use to, to make the burden basket, I actually take the fiber from the, from the agave plant. Uh, I harvest the leaves, I boil them three times. It takes the irritant out of the, the plant leaf. I tear it apart and let it dry up as if it was a dry meat. I would take the pulp off the, the, the fiber and able to make cordage. And then whenever I need it, I would just put it in some water. Uh, I've been able to teach younger people how to make the burden baskets, how to make cordage, because this was a common pastime that we would have. We would be able to, we didn't have nails then, so we had to tie and bind everything. And so for the kids to learn how to do this is really something special because uh, they feel it's a part of their identity. That's a major part of it. And also to create a, can keep the skill going uh, for the future. Uh, I do make bows and arrows, make bowstring out of the same material. And uh, I do what I can to keep the information going. That's what I've been able to do. And I'm, I'm happy that where I'm at right now with it and the knowledge that I do have, because it's taken me a lot of different places, but this is not what I had intended initially. I just wanted to know the skill.